Sun is just about down. Guys, we're getting in. We'll see you in the water. What's up guys, Ryan Myers here. Today we're going out to spear some giant yellowfin tuna at night. Right now we're waiting for that sun to go down just a little bit more and waiting for those tuna to come out and become really, really active. Everything comes alive as the sun comes down, including these giant fish, but also those big predators. So we'll be out here watching for those big sharks. Oceanic white tips are known to kind of be in this area, so we're gonna try and avoid those. <laughs> the real mission for today is for Samagram to get her first ever yellowfin tuna. She has shot at giant tunas before, but Sam, have you landed any? I haven't even connected with one. Oh, the dog tooth that laughed at my uh, spear. You've shot a couple big fish and you've always lost them. Yes. So these yellowfin tuna are super, super powerful. I gotta use a bigger gun today, and I'm gonna use a float system. So basically I'm gonna have a full breakaway rig system. So I'm gonna have my shaft go out, hopefully smash into this yellowfin tuna, be attached to the surface and a float, so that I kinda have an unlimited supply of line to fight him as he works the buoy, tires himself out, and I get another shot in him. Big ones? Right at the surface. What? Yes. So the reason we're out here today is because yesterday we were actually out here at sunset and these guys exploded right at sunset on the surface. I was able to jump in and connect with my biggest Hawaiian ahi ever and shoot it from only a couple feet below the surface. So the plan today is get Sam out here and see if she can get her first Hawaiian tuna. But first, I'm gonna show you that footage from yesterday of us landing that monster. This is super, super spooky because just last week, somebody got bit by a shark right out here. Their boat actually sank right here off the same buoy and while they were swimming into shore, they got bit by two cookie cutter sharks that actually only come out at night. So we're gonna try to avoid those. What, what's going on? There's fish everywhere. But you should get in because it's kind of terrifying to be in here alone. Yo, get in the water. What are you seeing? Get in the water. Tell me. Please get in the water. Are you spooked? Please get in the water. Are you scared? Just get in the water. Let's go. Sun's just about down. Guys, we're getting in. We'll see you in the water.
that you want to see on that side of the bridge. Sun is going down. Look at it; it's gonna come alive. Okay, so just keep it, keep it, like when you go down there, you don't have to go that deep, but you do have to kind of hold the gun in a way that you're ready to fire it. You know what I mean? The tuna are gonna be up in front. Sun is down. Hopefully, it'll happen now. Officially, nighttime in the ocean. <laughs> couple just came through, they were smaller ones, but they nailed a bunch of bait, balled them all up. It's gonna start here.
Well guys, that was freaking intense. You could have that big bait ball all around us. And then as soon as one of those little rats came through, they would just all ball up and come over and you couldn't see out past like a couple feet. But so you knew that things were attacking the ball that was all coming towards you, but you couldn't tell what it was. So it was freaking super, super intense. We stayed in as long as we could until we couldn't see anything anymore and we had to get out. But at least we've got an ahi already in the cooler. So we'll be able to take that and have a whole sushi party feast with Zach Fowler and, and Greg Ovens and the whole crew tomorrow. So we're looking forward to that. And right now I can see it. They're going off on the buoy. They're going off on the buoy right now. It's just too dark to see. I can't, you couldn't see anymore. I definitely couldn't shoot at anything. Pretty freaking cool. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow over at Sushi. So we weren't able to get Sam a tuna, but we have the one from the night before that is a freaking stud. I'm gonna chop this up a new way. I saw it on Real Adventures Hawaii. I just watched the whole YouTube video, so I'm like, I'm gonna do this one differently. Zach and Greg are on their way over right now, so when they show up, I'm gonna chop this thing up, and then we're gonna have ourselves a sushi party. I love when Tyler cooks for us. How epic does these rolls look? Well guys, everybody left now. That was a fantastic sushi feast. What a way to cap off an epic fish there. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.